Hey guys and welcome to another one of my hobby vlogs. Um, in this hobby vlog I'm going to be going over um, my Bree board which unless you've been living under a rock for the past two weeks or so um, you'll have seen on the Facebook group been posting regular updates and getting a lot of feedback which has really kept me going. Um, it's been a bit of a slog because I'm only able to get in the odd hour here and there. As I've said previously I'm really really busy at the moment with work etc. So spare time is mainly focused on spending time with the wife and the kids uh, but every now and again I get the odd hour and I'm able to get some more buildings pumped out and get some pictures on Facebook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get behind the camera and I'm going to show you the board um, it's still not finished but we're almost there um, I just don't think I'm going to get a chance um, after tomorrow to do a video or do a hobby vlog anyway so I thought I'd do it now um, get it out of the way and then I'll post pictures up on the group of the board when it's finished. So I'll get behind the camera and I'll show you the board. Okay guys, so here it is, Brie. Um, it's probably around 90% finished. Um, I've still got a couple of little bits to do over on the far side. There's some areas inside the actual village or town itself um, which need sorting out. I've got water effects to add. Uh, just to give that feel of like it did in the movies, it's always raining and it's a bit sort of Manchester-like and sort of the, <laughs> talking about weather um, so this is it really I've got some mini set up in it because I was taking some photographs and working out how easy it is to get in and around the board and working out uh, sort of firing avenues and things like that um, but overall I'm very very happy with how it's turned out um, it's been quite a difficult board to plan out you know it's not just a case of plonking a lot of buildings down and um, you know that's it I do like to think I put a bit of thought into them. Um, someone will always find something to go, oh, this would have been better if it was this way, blah, 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 which you're always going to get. Um, I don't think anyone will ever be able to create the perfect board. Um, but that's fine. I take a lot of feedback on board and, you know, on the next board, I try and sort of bring it into play. Um, and hopefully I'll do the same with this one. So as we can see, we've got the damaged uh, outer perimeter wall. Brie itself is surrounded by a large wall. Now that kind of created an issue for me in the fact that I didn't just want it to be, you know, the board be um, just the town, although, you know, there was a stage where that was what was going to happen and that would be quite cool. Um, but I wanted some of the, the outer area and I really wanted to build the gatehouse. So to build the gatehouse, it would have been silly to put the time and effort into building the gatehouse and having it just, you know, at the edge of the board. So I kind of decided on this layout, um, so you kind of get in a corner of the town and then some of the sort of outer perimeter. So there's going to be more trees, we've got this hill here, you have to excuse the mess of my man cave in the background, um, it's full to the brim at the moment, I'm trying to sort out more storage for all my other boards and bits and bobs. Uh, so like I said we've got this hill here, um, which gives you a nice sort of viewpoint into the town, I think that shot looks really cool. Um, and then I posted on a Facebook group about, you know, did people think that the view from the hill into the town was too clear, which it seemed to be um, that it was. So I've added this scaffold here. So this is as if uh, the workers are working on repairing the wall. And there'll be some more bricks above. These green blocks of foam that you can see. Uh, eventually there's going to be more of those and, you know, they're going to be like piles of rubble uh, where the wall's either been knocked down or it's been taken down for repair. I did some of these fences and little uh, stables, like animal shacks things, in there as well to break it up. On here, there's going to be more texture in and around here and here, and there's going to be a lot of mud and puddles, and there's going to be some wildlife in there. Um, and then, as you can see, um, I'd like to keep the, the look of the buildings varied. You know, I really like this one. It's kind of like a a farrier type building where you know you'd bring your horses around the back to get shooed etc so there was going to be a, a smithies building there a small smithy area which there still may be um, but I don't want to be taking up too much time on this board it's already gone way way over schedule uh, as it is and then we've got the prancing pony which I'm sure you've seen plenty of before um, yeah that was close up for the pub sign there which is cool um, yeah, Prancing Pony, you've seen it before, I've had that for a while now, it was probably built about 18 months ago, 
lots of room for improvement on there um, but I want to keep this as a modular piece so as you can see it slots into an area of the board because uh, it already has a base I did contemplate taking it off the base and fixing it but decided against it so I can use it for things you never know, brawling at Barleyman's might get a comeback um, I'll have to speak to GBHL James about that um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep it on the base so it's separate um, but yeah, that's pretty much the board layout on the buildings like I said, we've got the wall over here and there's another gate entrance just there, can you see? now I'm still in two miles over to add gates so that I'll leave it open again, that's another access because it's a walled uh, town, I didn't want the wall to sort of, how can I say, get in the way. I know mean, that sounds silly, but get in the way and stop you being able to play. So there's two major openings in the walls. And then being under repair was sort of the best thing that I could come up with. I thought, you know, it just looks better um, and makes the board really playable. Um, it's still going to be, depending on deployment and how you roll in deployment or your board edge that you choose, there's going to be some advantages and some disadvantages. Um, but I think it's going to be a really interesting board to play on. Really interested and I can't wait to get some games on it. I'm also going to do some bat reps on it. Um, scenario driven bat reps. So stuff from the movie. Um, I've been rooting around for some GW stuff and some fan made stuff. And there's some really nice uh, scenarios with Aragorn, the Hobbits and Wraiths. Excuse me. Which um, will be cool to play. So, yeah, look forward to it. And that, my friends, is Bree. And now, after I've finished this, I will be moving on to Dale. So keep an eye out for that. That's it, guys. That's my Bree board. Um, like I said previously, I'm really happy with it. Really happy about it turning out. I think it's going to be a cool board to play on. Um, there's still little bits and bobs to finish off. Like most of my boards, I'll probably be adding to them here and there. Um, you know, after I've finish them um, but as it is I'm happy with it uh, just just water effects and a couple of more fences and paint me sheep and cows and goats and things that are going to go in there and I'm going to call it done I'm going to put a line in it so hopefully this evening I'll get a bit more of that done and tomorrow which is Sunday and then Monday evening after work I'm going to get the the baseboard done for Dale and move on to that so Keep an eye out for some updates on Dale. I have been speaking to a few people who've been messaging me over Facebook and commenting on the on the posts and the pictures and things like that, which is great. And there is a couple of guys who are thinking of doing a Bree style board, um, and I'd be really, really interested to see uh, other people's interpretations of it because that's where you get a lot of your ideas from. That's where I get a lot of my ideas from. You know, I'll go online and look what other people have done and think, oh, that's a good idea, or oh, I wouldn't have done that that way, or you know, things like that and it really does help so if you are doing something like this if you've done the build with me for the Bree building Bree style building uh, let me have a look at what you've done um, I'd be really really interested to see it um, and it'd be nice to know that people uh, are following those videos and getting involved so um, I'm going to leave this video here uh, and I look forward to speaking to you all soon and I think I'll see some of you at the doubles event Jamie and Harry's doubles event which is going to be cool that's next weekend um, and we may have some announcements for Top Table Wargaming prior to or over that weekend, but we'll see, we'll see. Well, I look forward to seeing you all soon, so uh, comment, like, share and subscribe. Uh, support your hosts in the links below, um, support your hobby hobby, and happy strategy battle gaming.